can say the great mosque of Iraq or the blue mosque of Iraq. Assalamu alaikum guys. I'm in the blue mosque of Hira. It was built in the 11th century. Take off my shoes. It was built in the 11th century. This uh, masjid over here. So I'm going to show you guys. Sorry brother. Oh. Leave my shoes here. Look at this beautiful architecture you have here in Herat, Afghanistan. So this masjid was built in the 11th century during the empire times in Afghanistan's history. It was built by Islamic architectures. This is the biggest, one of the biggest masjids in Asia that still has the blue writing over here in the walls. Just look around you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. As you can see, everyone here is praying Salah. For those that don't know what Salah is, Salah means prayer in Islam. There are five prayers that you need to pray in Islam. Fajr, morning prayer. Zuha, morning afternoon prayer. Ashar, afternoon prayer. Maghrib, nighttime prayer. Isha, nighttime prayer. So there's five prayers that you need to pray in Islam. It's part of the five pillars of Islam. As you can see, everyone here is praying Salah. But look at this. Look at the dome. It's so massive, it's so beautiful. I definitely say to you guys, when you travel to a country, understand the religion. I've said it in, in many of my videos. Understand the culture, but the most important thing, that this religion brings harmony. It brings people together in unity. In Islam, there is no racism. That's what they say, there is no racism. A white man is not bigger than a black man. A black man is not bigger than a white man. Therefore, as an Asian man, but look at this guys. It's peace, it's tranquility, and it's here in Herat in Afghanistan. The most important thing is that this here has been here for almost 11 centuries, yeah? But they've kept it the same maintenance years after years, centuries after centuries, empires after empires. When people conquered Herat and, and, and Afghanistan, they kept the same infrastructure going and going. They renovated it years after years, but they've kept everything in detail. Assalamu alaikum, hello. Wa alaikum. I'm very good, who are you? They've kept everything in detail. As you can see, look at this, it's beautiful. You know, I've been to many masjids around the world. I've been to masjids in Turkey, masjids in Argentina, masjids in London, masjids in Pakistan, masjids in India. But the masjids in Afghanistan, for me, they're very beautiful. So, um, you speak English? No? Do you, you speak English? No, English? English? One selfie. Okay, well he knows the word Sophie, but he doesn't know the... I want to ask people some questions about this thing, about the masjid actually. Thank you. Uh, you speak English, Habibi? Can you explain to the audience about the historical, about the history of the masjid, if that's possible? Nobody can explain the history of the masjid. Assalamu alaikum. Does anyone here speak English? No. 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 Okay, does anybody, can, can anyone explain to the camera the history of the masjid? Yeah, <laughs> بعد از زن به خشت پخته یا خشت خون مار شده در دمان زایر خان همین نقشی هایی که میبینیم اینا فعال گردید و ایوان ها از این به طول همین مناره سی و پنج متره و خود زمین از این سی و چار جریب الا سی و پنج جریب میباش He's saying like the sport is old more than 4,300 years old but when it uh, came to the hand of Muslims, it's around 1,300 years old. Before here, the people, they used to uh, pray to fire and many stuff like idols and all. But when Muslims captured the Hirat, the places, 
So then they renovated, they wrote the Quranic words there, then it became a proper masjid. در وقت امارت اسلامی جلوتر پیش از این 25 سال پیش این سنگ فرش کردن باز سنگ دوباره کندن با توسط این مردم مسلمان چیزی که کسی خدا واسه کمک کرده می خیش فرش کردن سنگ فرش کردن این Assalamu alaikum. Your name? My name is Mama Shui. Mama Shui? Yeah. Amir, Assalamu alaikum. Um, so for the people that's watching this video, yeah. what other information can you give to people about this masjid and the historical, yeah. the historical events that happened in this masjid in, and also about Herat city? The big graph of this mosque of big Herat city, yeah. Yeah. And then of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, welcome to our big uh, masjid of the on, uh, located on uh, Herat city. As you know, there are some points <laughs> about the, uh, this big mosque of Herat city, there is lots of references and we have some attendance about this. But fortunately, from the uh, when the small religion kept in the Middle East, Afghanistan, also the Iran, some neighbor countries, uh, the establishment of this uh, mosque from the companion, the companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, locate on this. Uh, places. After that, there is the loss of the king. Uh, uh, after this, the companion that uh, after the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the fourth the caliphate of the Abu Bakr Siddiq and who after that also they make it the loss of the king in here. But uh, also uh, the some kinging the period of, of the uh, on that uh, things. Uh, Sultan no, Mahmoud Ghaznavi, after that also Saljurian, also the, the some points that make it up to now from the uh, uh, Sultan Muhammad Hussein Abu Al-Qara, let's make it from the, these uh, some flowers like this. Also another verse of Quran is around this Mosque of Horacity, lots of uh, around his year. There also some point in Persian. On top of here. On, on that uh, place is here. Uh, also, this, um, uh, that were cited from the uh, mm -hmm. item also the, the, the four stories about the charcoal. One like thing this. I want to say to you Excellent. about Herat City. Yeah. What, 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 what would you say about Herat City for the foreigners that want to come to Herat and understand Herat? What's your message for the people that want to come to Herat? Yeah. Uh, there is the same person is, uh, from our province to uh, that leave it from around the world. Also, uh, the Herates has a lot of historical places. The first, uh, you know, is the big mosque of Herat city. We have uh, four minarets, you know, located on the north of uh, Herat. Also, we have the some another places, lots of Khaja Bilansari. Also, the big castle of the Herat city. These, uh, that places, shows the uh, some proud of Islamic that is sort in the past the established of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon unfortunately continuing up to now. From these also it's needed and that supported places this places and to make it changing to modern and try to be used this loss of the tourist person up, up to now. Thank you. Uh, it's a good economic issue for all the Afghan people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, now is the make Time it the prey. Yeah, yeah, after yeah, the inshallah. Yeah, no problem. For you. Thank you. Manana. Thank you. Right, that's very good. A lot of information that the guys have given me over here. Beautiful. So anyone that wants to understand the knowledge of this masjid over here, look at it here. It's beautiful. Wow. So, it's Black Man the Traveller. Stop the video. Bye. So the Salah has finished, guys, and everyone has come outside the masjid. You can see all the brothers, all the brothers, all here. So the only message that I want to say to people is uh, peace and unity is going to bring people together. Salam alaikum. Where's my translator? Okay. So, so the message that I want to say to everyone is peace and unity. 
فایزتیس تو طول تا پایام در کم چی باید طول و سوال کیا و پیت پاک سر و وسیع مسلمانان طول یو شما اگر خیسی شما اگر پشتو یاد نداری باید یاد بگیم انشالله افغانستان و هف پیس and will be unified together. Inshallah, that Afghanistan will not have a soul of all of Thank you. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Africa and Tunisia. Huh? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. From England. England. Britannia. England. England. All right, guys. So I'm about to finish my vlog over here in the masjid in Herat. And my, my message Assalamu alaikum. My message over here is peace and unity for Afghanistan, for the people of Afghanistan, for the men, for the women, for the future, for the granddad. Who don't? Who don't? Uh, England. Assalamu alaikum. England. England. England, sir. English? English. Yeah. Your name? Your name? No, no, no. no. Shafadin. Shafadin. Assalamu alaikum. Amir. 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 Bye bye. <laughs> All right, guys, we finished the message over here. Assalamu alaikum here in Herat. So the video is about to end. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video here in the beautiful masjid. We'll see you in Miami. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, guys, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, so, um, his beard and his ear is rested inside here. And I've got access. This is very, very spiritual, as you can see, it's inside. And um, the local people, they come here to pray as well. Yeah. So it's open to the, uh, to the public or yeah. not? It's open for everyone. Okay. That's really okay. This is it. We'll go around. Yeah. So right now we are inside an antique shop. This is one of the most historical items that you find here in Afghanistan. Everything here is antique. They go back to centuries, literally years. You even got different type of currencies. You've got Iraqi currency over here. You've got Afghani currency over here. I don't know, I think this is Egyptian, I'm not too sure. You've got Indian rupees over here. So you have all different type of historical things. Look at the jewelries. Look at this. This is, how many years is this, do you reckon? Which one? This that one, one hundred years ago. A hundred from Herat, years. Yes, from, from Herat. The metal is copper, handmade. So this is from Herat. In from Herat, special from Herat. Okay. Yes. I want to ask you a question. Everything here is antique and very vintage, old. Uh, most of it comes from Afghanistan, or is no from Afghanistan, from okay. everywhere. From okay. Herat, yes. What is a typical symbol item yeah. that comes from Herat? Like which one of these is like a typical? A special from Herat. Yes, sir. Yes, the copper, copper they made. For okay. example, that one is. These are all from Herat. Okay. Yes. The teapot, the mm -hmm. summer wear. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are all from Herat. Okay. In Afghanistan, we have more gym students. Yes. Gym students. Okay. Famous students. Okay. For example, that man. Necklace, bracelet, earrings. Yeah. So that one is Agate still from Herat. We find in the river. So these ones yeah, are. So these ones are typical gemstones just yeah, from Afghanistan. Yeah, original, original from another original. India, China, Pakistan. Here, so original, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so you said original. In here, okay. I have more customer. My business okay. is all true. I want to ask you a question. You have any instruments? Any instruments that are that come from Herat that I can hear? That I can hear the music? Do you have any instruments? Or you no? Know? Uh, for the Taliban to come in. Yeah, I understand. One, okay. I yeah. had one. School, I'm yeah. teacher. Okay. I can play music, okay. local music. Okay. Rubab. Did okay. you know the rubab? Yeah, the instrument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rubab, yeah. rubab, rubab, yeah. dutar. Okay. Rubab, rubab, and dutar. I can play. Okay. Now, unfortunately, things have changed. Yeah. I understand. That one, where are you? Sorry, Baba. Yes, this one here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rubab. Wow. It has very good sound. How many years have you? How many years have you had this shop for? In here, maybe 45, 56 years. 45 or 6 yeah, years? No, my father. Yeah. Oh, he's your father? Yeah, yeah, my father. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bono, thank you. Bono. If you have another time, come back, I can play for you. Okay. Maybe in the evening. Okay, I'll come back in Charlotte in the evening. Okay. Now I'm busy.